Have you ever stopped to wonder how widespread neurological conditions have become in today's world? It's a question that's been brought into sharp focus by a recent study published in The Lancet. This study paints a startling picture of the growing prevalence of these disorders globally. Neurological conditions have become the leading cause of ill health, affecting an estimated 3.4 billion people in 2021. That's right, over a third of the world's population is grappling with some form of neurological condition. Even more concerning is the rise in fatalities. The number of deaths from these disorders has surged to a staggering 11.1 million, with stroke identified as the most burdensome condition. Such conditions are no longer confined to the elderly or the genetically vulnerable. They are increasingly becoming a part of the everyday reality for people of all ages, across all continents. With such staggering numbers, it's clear that neurological conditions have become a global health crisis. But what's behind this alarming rise in neurological conditions? Well, several contributing factors are at play here. For starters, population growth and increased life expectancy are leading to a higher number of people living into their later years. This, in turn, has led to a surge in age-related neurological disorders. Then we must also consider lifestyle risk factors. Unhealthy habits such as poor diet, lack of physical activity, and tobacco and alcohol use can increase the risk of developing neurological conditions. These lifestyle choices can lead to conditions like high blood pressure, which could in turn contribute to stroke, one of the most burdensome neurological conditions. Now let's take a closer look at the UK. Over 2.6 million people are living with traumatic brain injury or stroke, and over 944,000 people are grappling with dementia. These staggering numbers are a stark reminder of the widespread impact of these conditions. But the key takeaway here is that many of these factors are modifiable. By understanding the underlying causes, we can start to make changes in our lifestyles and healthcare systems to combat this rise in neurological conditions. Understanding these factors is the first step in combating the rise of neurological conditions. How can we turn the tide against this growing health crisis? This question is a beacon, guiding us towards the importance of preventive measures. Managing high blood pressure, for example, could significantly reduce the incidence of neurological illness and death. We can't afford to overlook the power of prevention in our fight against this escalating health crisis. But there's another layer to this issue, a layer of global inequality. The study reveals a stark disparity where a whopping 80% of neurological deaths occur in low- and middle-income countries. This is not just a crisis of health, but a crisis of equity. We need to address this imbalance urgently, ensuring that prevention, treatment, and care strategies are accessible to all, regardless of geographical or financial status. The growing impact of neurological conditions is a global concern, demanding a global response. It's not just about treating the symptoms, but about preventing the onset of these conditions, about bridging the gap between the haves and the have-nots. It's time to take action against neurological conditions, and prevention is a powerful tool in our arsenal.